Hi everybody, I'm Frank O'Brien and welcome to robertfrancis.wine.e. Today we have a fantastic episode of robertfrancis.wine.e and you'll notice straight away there's a big difference. There's more than one bottle. So, good times here. So, we're going to taste some more chili and Pinot Noir after with Christmas time coming up and Thanksgiving coming up. Pinot Noir is where it's at people. You really need to be getting some New World Pinot Noir. If you have the money and you want to spend it and get the extra classy uh, Burgundian Pinot Noirs, absolutely. But for me, the extra fruit forwardness and the concentration in the New World Pinot Noirs help it stand up to what is a pretty aggressive um, meal flavor-wise, you know, between turkey and gravy and stuffing and potato stuffing and ham and all that. There's so many different flavors and textures going on that for me, the weight of the New World Pinot Noirs helps them stand up to it a bit better. So when I was recently tasting the Alta Vuelo uh, Pinot Noir from Thomas Woodbury's in Galway, it got me thinking as to what would be, you know, the best one on the marketplace today. I mean, the whole point of this website is to be helping you make better buys. So, try and mm, figure out what chili and Pinot Noir is the one that you should be looking out for in your local off license. So, we have two. We have the Connoisseur Pinot Noir Reserva from Casablanca Valley. This is the 2007. So, really excited to try that. Uh, I've had their entry level one, but I've never had the Reserva before. And then we have the Lieda Pinot Noir 2006 from the Ada Valley. Again, really excited to try that. So this one comes from Cases, the Connoisseur does, it's the Reserva is about 15 euros a bottle. So uh, if you need that, go talk to Peter. And the Lieda is from Thomas Woodbury. So it's, again, it's about 15 euros a bottle. So Declan owns in, in Thomas Woodbury's in town will be more than able to help you or any very helpful staff in both shops will be able to help you. Again, no ties to either off license. I paid for both of these bottles, all of these bottles of wine. So my dime, my, my opinion, and that's what we're here to talk about. So let's get straight into the Connoisseur Reserva. This comes from Casablanca Valley in Chile. Just give the glass a quick rinse. Where a lot of really good Pinot Noir is coming out of these days. And the Alta Vuela also came from Casablanca. Yes, it did. This one is at 14% alcohol, so it's a little weightier than the Alta Vuela. So, uh, just quickly, the Connoisseur do a drink green thing nowadays. Um, so this is carbon neutral delivery of the wine. I think they're one of the first vineyards to do this. So, um, yeah, so it says, Connoisseur wines have been measured and balanced in net zero through high quality greenhouse gas emissions reduction projects. So well done to Connoisseur on that. And it's certainly something that everybody needs to be bearing in mind these days. So there's a lovely color to this wine. It's a nice cherry red color to the wine. Uh, it's, it's definitely in the lighter style of Pinot Noirs. You know, can clearly see your fingers through it. Um, mm, and it's nice, straight off the nose. There's really nice red fruits. There's a touch of leather in there as well. Yeah, leather boot polish. But the red fruits are there. They're they're focused. It's, some decent concentration levels so them. It's not a fruit bomb. And there's definitely a, a kind of a touch of, of damp soil or something. You know, if you're playing down the weekend and corner back and you give the guy a big push and push him forward and he goes straight into the mud with the rain that's out there today. Maybe this is what his nose will be smelling like if you chucked a couple of strawberries and raspberries on top of him. But yeah, no, really good. Definitely um, a good start on the aromatics front. Let's give it a whirl. Mm. Oh wow, lovely juicy red fruit, really juicy um, strawberries again and the raspberries, there's a nice touch of sour cherry in there as well and the leather really comes through on the finish which is very nice. This is a good solid Pinot Noir. It's, um, it, it's a bit more delicate than some of the New World Pinot Noirs that I've had lately. but. Definitely has good fruit. That extra dimension with the damp earth and the leather and the boot polish. There is a touch of spice in there as well from the oak. This is a really good Pinot Noir. There's some good acidity, some nice minerality, which you will generally get under your front lip here, um, which shows that you know terroir is really becoming a thing in Chile. So that's always good to see. So really solid wine. Yeah, good, good acidity. Would go well with Christmas dinner. Um, so let's get on to the Lieda and see how that stacks up. But that's a good start. So, 
the Lieda 2006, which is available from Thomas Woodbury's in Galway, about 15 euros a bottle. It's imported by James Nicholson, and this is 40, 40 kilometers away from Casablanca, where the Connoisseur one wine comes from. So it's, it's, it'll be interesting to see if there's any difference. These are both cool climate regions. There's the Lieda label uh, within within Chile, so that the fruit doesn't you know cook or over overcook at night time you get good sunshine during the day and then being near the Pacific the uh, maritime climate really cools the grapes down at night time to, to keep that freshness and balance in there these don't become over the top high alcohol wines even though just let me check what this one is I think this is this is 14 percent so they're both 14 percent um, which is a touch high but um, you know not 15 or 16 so mm, really nice um, red fruits again good roundness to it there is a touch of that damp earth uh, character from the last one that I mentioned. Mm. Very nice. Again, it's a, it's a nicely rounded nose. Everything smells in balance like it did on the Connoisseur. Okay, but there is a slight difference here. The Lieda definitely has more fruit concentration on the palate compared to the Connoisseur. There's definitely more ripe strawberries and raspberries hitting my palate now than there was with the Connoisseur. There's, there is some cherry in here too as well and a, and a, and a spice factor from the oak. But um, the Lieda is a bit more fruit concentrated and probably a bit more in the usual um, New World Pinot Noir style. It's still delicate, don't get me wrong, this isn't a big concentrated over the top New World Pinot Noir. It's still a delicate Pinot Noir, but it, compared to the Connoisseur, it does have a touch more fruit concentration. Mm. Again, a really, really nice wine, though. So, I mean, to score the two of them and figure out which one is the best, well, first things first, if you pick up either of them, you're onto a winner. They're both really, really solid wines. Um, then it's a kind of a a matter of palate and what you prefer. This the connoisseur having a bit more complexity, the Lieda having a bit more fruit concentration on the palate. If I was looking for one for Christmas dinner, I'd probably go with the Lieda Pinot Noir. I think that extra fruit concentration would just help uh, on the the uh, Christmas dinner, and it probably might appease more people. I'm not saying that the connoisseur is austere or anything like that. It's still a really good wine. Um, so I'd probably have to go kind of 90 plus points on the Lieda. Um, yeah, 90 plus on the Lieda and 90 on the Connoisseur Reserve. This is definitely a step up from the entry level Connoisseur and a you know, really good effort. The Alta Vuela got 90 points as well. So as you can see, these are three really, really good Chilean Pinot Noirs. But for me, the winner on the day is the Lieda uh, Pinot Noir. Uh, really is a good wine, really, really good wine. So if you've had a Pinot Noir, as I would have like to hope most people have, or if you watch the last show and think Pinot Noir is definitely something you'd like to get into, let me know what you think. Get out there, try a Pinot Noir, and leave a comment below as to which one you like the best, or what you liked, or if you didn't like it. So, we'll see you next time on robertfrancis.wine.ie.